It's just where my art. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do a little logistics here quick, and then I'm going to start talking from my heart. Um, my book's going around. It's called Medicine for the People by the People. It's inspirational ideas, stories, pictures, anything that you would like to add. It's, uh, it's now going to my mom. Um, so I'm really excited to get that to her. Uh, if you want to stay in contact with me on Facebook, my name is Brent Talbot, T-A-L-B-O-T-B-R-E-N-T. -E I'll, uh, if, if you guys want to just ask me later, we'll go through that. There's only two places I exist, and it's Facebook or here. So, and I'm leaving here. Um, I, uh, I occupied Calgary last year for 55 days. And uh, I've never quit. I started, I moved into a communal home and we had some ama amazing success. And then I got on a journey and I walked here from Victoria. We left May 1st. Woo! Woo! Um, Woo! And I've been occupying Ottawa now since September 13th with some beautiful friends that are here right now. Sue Lynn, Leo, Andrew. Yeah, we've been, we've, we've been hanging out in tents in the woods. We're the crazy people in the trees. We're the hobos you see panning at your feet. Be nice to the hobos, they're good people. Um, so day 55 of occupying Ottawa, I started to write a letter um, reaching out to community because we were expanding and uh, Andrew and I were discussing moving into a tree house. And so I was really excited and uh, we got a lot of good responses. Our, our mission here was to start an artistic communal co-op and we wanted to occupy Victoria Island in uh, solidarity with the Algonquins who are fighting with the NCC on land that's native land. It's Well, it's all native land, but that's, uh, that's something else. Uh, after I go and heal my mom quick, we're gonna go to BC, Andrew and I, and I'm sure there'll be others. Uh, inspired by Anton, who left on Wednesday to uh, go shut down the Enbridge pipeline. So this, this, this is just an extension. All right, uh, on day 56 of occupying Ottawa, uh, my journey changed suddenly. I, I talked to my mom, and uh, I sent her a poem that I read last week called Don't Worry, Mom. Um, and... Uh, so we had our conversation, and then she says to me, don't worry, Brent. And I was like, oh. I've been diagnosed with colon cancer. This is the second time in my life my father was taken 22 years ago by cancer. I spent the last 22 years studying, learning, how to be somebody that could cure cancer. And now I have the opportunity to prove it. My mom is my best friend. I love her more than anything. And I gave up everything before I left this journey. Everything! <laughs> and there's one thing that could take me home. <laughs> So, um, my mom and I are about to embark on a journey, an excellent journey of healing uh, through the tenderness of love and of hugging, hugging, hug more. People, please continue to hug each other. Hug, harmonious, unconditional giving. That's that, please. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat cancer with hugs. Can I, can I give and, some advice? Yes. In BC, you can probably get uh, marijuana. I'm in Calgary, but I'm working on that too. I've got some friends. Uh, I put a post on Facebook that I have. I, I've, I have. I know it does, and I'm gonna get my mom high. I promise. <laughs> I know. I know. She can ingest me. I know. I, 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 I'm actually very educated on this, but I do appreciate that. And uh, if anybody has any other ideas, please don't feel free to tell me about them. I've got like 50 cures on my Facebook wall already just from my post you, thank you thank you um, that's that's it right and it's a, it's about community what I, when I found out about my father I was 20 years old and I was angry I was angry at the world I was really pissed off why they would 
take away somebody who I didn't even know. It was my father, but he wasn't around. And I finally was having the opportunity to get to know him, and he was gone. And I was so angry, and I, and I, I didn't know why. This time, when I heard what my mom told me, I started to cry, <laughs> naturally. Um, and I, and when I heard about my dad, I went and got really drunk with a bunch of people that were my bosses of all people. They, uh, they were my friends, but they weren't nearly people that were close to my heart. And, and I tried to forget and be angry. This time, I went and sat in Majors Hill Park and I pulled out my book. And I started writing down cancer cures. And then I went back and I called my mom and I said, okay, the emotion part is done. Now you have to prepare for a trainer. She said, what? I said, tell dad, my stepdad, um, I have some, he have some good news and some bad news. He's uh, quite the, um, he used to be a teacher, a fighter pilot, and he's been in a businessman his whole life. So he's all left brain, he thinks I'm crazy. Uh, he wanted to put me in a crazy house before I started occupying in Calgary. Uh, he's, I think he still does. Occupy! Yeah. <laughs> Occupy where you stand! Occupy your space. Really, that's the key. Be present. Be here. Be now. Be love. Treat everybody as you want to be treated, and it will happen to you. You guys, everybody in this room is a leader. You're a leader. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You're all light workers. You're all privileged to be conscious enough to spend your time in these spaces. And take this opportunity to use the internet, pull out your video recording devices, anything that you can to spread this message. Anything that we put on the internet has the opportunity to go viral, okay? And this is love, it's the virus of love. It's not a bad thing, people cannot get upset at you for it. <laughs> They'll try, but just shoot, love them. shoot the, them a the smile. The love police, the love yes, police, it amen. Is. The love oh, pirates. Yeah. The love pirates. pirates. I've been trying to get arrested since I got here. Now, <laughs> think about this. I know, exactly. No, think about this. Shouldn't arrest be a good thing? <laughs> but it is. We are pirates. It's arrest. You're under arrest. Um, they can't arrest love. You can't. It's not possible. Uh, come at everybody with a clear consciousness and an open mind. Um, cancer is, is a virus of the mind. I've, I've witnessed it, I've studied it, and, I've, and I understand it. And I am the proof that it's not a genetic disorder. Because both of my parents got it. It's all through my family. And there ain't no fucking way it's entering this body. Because I take care of myself and I am conscious of what I do. This is a temple. Treat yourself as such. And give thanks for everything. Everything. Everything is a fucking miracle. <laughs> it is. Oh. And recognize it. These are mirrors. Every time you look in somebody's eyes and you light up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Holiday tree. Oh, <man. laughs> That's a whole nother w One thing. It's is there just, a just, tree? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just like, just feel that, feel that presence because when you step into your light, you allow other people to step into theirs and then you co-create and all of a sudden something really magical happens. Artistry and it's everywhere and it's on, it's in every one of you. Yeah. It's, it's the truth of who you are. Play your music. Dance your dances. Write your wrong. <laughs> <Can't wait. laughs> uh, do what you're here to do. We all came here with a purpose. Yeah. A purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your purpose.
purpose is to shine. This is seven weeks at Umi Cafe. I'm so sad to be leaving because I've had such an incredible time meeting so many amazing people. And <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. We'll bring it to you, brother. Woo! Road trip! I, uh... I didn't want to. I don't want to hi hijack the whole night. I love. I love you guys, though. I love you guys. Uh, there's still people that are staying here, even though I'm leaving, and I really want you guys to support them. And uh, I hijacked the next spot and didn't tell the next person who's up that I was gonna get them to talk. But you know how I like to challenge people. Come on! All you gotta talk about is Sunday. On, Just Sunday. Please. This Sunday. Come Everybody. on. Everybody. Sue. Come, Come on. on. Please. Please. Yeah, peer pressure. All right. Okay. I, I, I can go through this anyways. Sunday, and I'll make it quick. Sunday, uh, we are having at Parliament Hill a silent uh, vigil for peace and prosperity. We're going to sit in meditation with our arms locked if anybody's interested in being there. It's at 11 o'clock. We're going to spend most of the day there. Then there's a food not bomb serving uh, down at uh, First Bridge, which is right across from the Rideau I will Center. Be playing there. Yeah, and we had so much fun last week. We had like 40 people and tons of uh, homeless people, which aren't homeless, they're home free. Okay, uh, and they all have a story, and if you guys come down and listen, you're going to learn a lot. And, and it's a great place to educate yourself. And that's, that's it, and then I'm leaving Sunday night. And uh, I love you guys, and thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I have to try and raise Greyhound Bus Fair Home. It's 220 bucks. That's what the bucket's going around. If anybody has any extra, it's on the it's on the front counter. We much I much appreciate it. Uh, and if there's any extra, I'm gonna buy my mom some weed. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you, space. I love you, man. I love you, man. Keep it going for space, everybody. Love you guys.